lovelies. Welcome to day seven of the Just Get Fit Challenge. Today I'm talking about if there are any foods or food groups you should remove from your diet. Now a lot of times people think they need to remove things because it will help them um, to achieve progress or people go gluten-free or dairy-free even though they are not lactose intolerant or celiac. And I think this is not necessarily beneficial to your goals. So it's definitely important to make sure that if you are removing things from your diet, it is under the direction of your GP or a specialist, or you know, you're doing it because you have IBS and you found that you have a sensitivity to garlic or onions. There are a lot of foods out there that people are not necessarily allergic to, but can cause um, digestive issues. So it can also be really beneficial to look into food, sensi food sensitivities and even trying something like a low FODMAP diet where you can see um, through the process of elimination what does and what does not irritate your stomach. Um, another point would be that if you are struggling with trigger foods, which would be things that cause you to essentially lose your self-control when you're eating them, it can be beneficial to not necessarily remove them completely from your diet, but to limit your access to them. So for me, that would be chips. I absolutely love chips, like love, love them. But because of that, I don't have a great, I, I can't demonstrate great self-control around them, so I don't buy them. Instead, if I want them, I will go out and buy like a single serving size bag versus having a family pack at home and just like, chowing down on that until the bag is empty in like 30 minutes, which doesn't make me feel good. It really hurts my stomach and, you know, it just makes me feel like I've like failed a little bit at demonstrating self-control. And it's not that I can't demonstrate self-control around most things, it's that chips are a trigger food for me. So knowing what your triggers are, listening to your body and knowing what your sensitivities are is really important and it allows you to make informed decisions about when and if you should remove foods from your diet. So if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I will get back to you. And don't forget to read your email today so you can uh, respond and let me know if there's anything you want to know. Have a great day, guys.